Hi, I'm Victor Gasslinger, and I'll be leading this lightning talk. Uh, we'll be talking about persistent SSH sessions, so these are some quick tips and tricks that I find really useful um, when remotely connecting to a machine. Um, I've actually kind of picked these up over the years, and now I kind of just use them naturally um, multiple times a day. So hopefully that you find them useful too. Uh, now, I will be talking pretty quickly because it's a lightning talk, so if you need to slow me down, you can use the YouTube playback speed button and slow me down. I apologize in advance for talking too quickly. Now, let's talk about what we're going to be, like, what's the point of this? It's basically I need to remotely connect to a computer to do stuff. And that can be very quick scripts, or it can be something that lives on for a long time that I kind of come back to after 30 minutes. Um, so these are kind of some things that I do, like, I mean, I feel like hundreds of times a day, like feels like a hundred times a day. Um, and I just find like these really useful uh, uh, tips and I guess like little commands that help me kind of just work more efficiently. So hopefully uh, you'll find them useful for you too. So let's go to um, a terminal here and I'll kind of show you quickly like what you normally might do. You'd connect to a remote session and then you might do a quick command. So for example, here's a quick command. Uh, I'm going to basically just take something from the internet, save it to the save it to a file and then, you know, it's like, okay, it looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and exit out of here now and that's it. So there's nothing wrong with that, but sometimes that can take a, some time. And honestly, it just kind of, you know, when you're doing it over and over and over again, it can be quite, you know, kind of annoying. So what you can do actually is do that same connection, but then have a command afterwards. And that will basically con uh, connect to your remote execute that command and then exit. So you can see here, list out the files, really useful. Uh, you can even do more complex commands. So for example, I can do something like this command. There we go. And you can see here, basically I had that command or I had that connection and then that command just in quotes, just to make sure that gets executed on the remote machine and not on my local machine, um, just cause it's nice along with these ands and stuff like that. So really, really useful thing. Um, now, the only thing is that you, it doesn't persist. So what you can do is actually add this flag, this dash T flag right here like this, and this will let you um, have it persist. And this is really useful when you want to page through files. So for example, I have less here and I can go, go up and down through the file. Looks pretty good. I'll go to the end file. Looks pretty good. I'll hit Q here and that will uh, exit le less, which basically breaks that connection. So that can be really useful when you want to do some something more than just like a quick command. So that actually leads us to this, what I use like almost all the time, like religiously, like I use this like many, I, I do this like constantly throughout the day. And that's basically using Tmux. Now Tmux is a really powerful tool that I have nowhere near enough time to talk about it. Um, but uh, if you're interested in it, you should definitely look into it. I do know there's other tools like this, like Screen. Um, I don't know Screen, I know Tmux, that's what I learned, sorry. Um, if anyone's a really big fan of Screen, screen. Um, but basically I'm going to use that same SSH, but then that dash T, that persistence, and then I'm going to basically use Tmux here to create a new session. And this new session now can persist beyond me just connecting that first time. So for example, if I have this really long command here that basically is going to take, you know, over time, in this case, hundred seconds, uh, it's going to kind of go through, I can exit out of Tmux. So control BD, and that's a Tmux thing specifically, but now Tmux is exited, my connection's um, gone, but my Tmux session is still living on. So what's really cool is that now that kind of just keeps going through, and I can actually check on this later on with a quick command. For example, doing quick tail. You can see here, oh yeah, 18 seconds been passed. Check a little bit later. All right, 21, looking, looking pretty good. I can even create a new session here. So in this case, it's actually a new session. Note that it's called new session, not my session. And I can actually do my own things here. For example, I could even like check on that file that's going on. And I can like do something else while that thing's running in the background. So really useful. And then again, I'll exit out of this control BD. Okay. And then I can go back to that um, original session called um, just session, I guess. <laughs> and I can say, okay, that's done. You're, you're good here. Stop here. And you can see here, for example, I can now check on the file, which is my clock. Cool. And I'll exit out this and that's it. So hopefully you found that really useful. Very, very quick. Um, I hope to, I wish I could give more details, but I definitely don't have enough time within the five minutes. Um, but thank you for watching this. Um, I was really excited to be uh, part of this NormConf. Um, I'm really excited about actually uh, seeing the other talks of the main conference. Um, again, my name is Victor Geislinger. Uh, you can actually reach out to me um, pretty consistently through LinkedIn. Um, I actually have a lot of casual conversations on LinkedIn. Uh, just kind of tell me like like who you are, like you know where you heard me from, and I'm more likely to actually respond to you. Um, I also uh, have a GitHub, so I'm actually pretty um, keep my GitHub pretty uh, updated. I'm you know, frequently doing things on there. I'll update things like you know my website. I have a YouTube channel, though I haven't done anything for the past year. So you know. There's that. And then I'm not super social, but I do have a Twitter for however long that exists. So I now have a Mastodon in case I get 
more social again. Um, but anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I am excited for NordmanConf and hope, for, hope you have a good conference too. Take care. Bye.